it's David here. Today, the tool that we're gonna be talking about in your toolkit is the ESRC coaching model. So what is the ESRC coaching model? What it is, it is a model for us to use when we are coaching team members. You know, a lot of times when team members aren't performing the way that we hope they are, what do we do? A lot of times we go straight to consequences. Hey, if you don't get this right, you know, you're gonna be in trouble. Hey, if you don't you don't perform this right, or why aren't you doing this the right way? You know, we get frustrated. And so the ESRC coaching model is a simple way to make sure that we are taking team members through a proper coaching process. So each letter stands for something different. And the first letter is the E. The E stands for expectations. First and foremost, are we setting the clear expectations for our team? Maybe they're not performing to the level we want because we've never actually told them what we expect for them in a role or position. The second, the second letter is the S. S stands for skills. Have they given been given the skills and the time to build the skills necessary to be in that position? Maybe it's making fries or it is bagging. If they haven't had a lot of opportunities to grow their skills in that, uh, in that position, then oftentimes it can be unreasonable for us to expect them to perform at a high level. The third thing is resources. Have we given them the proper resources? Oftentimes we might say, hey, how come you aren't putting the right amount of Oreos into that milkshake? But in the reality is that maybe our Oreo dispenser is broken and we haven't given them the right uh, uh, tools that they need and the resources they need to succeed. But once we have given them the clear expectations, we have provided them with the right skill set and the right resources, then the final letter is C and its consequences. And there are times in our business when we have done the first three that we need to come in and actually say, hey, if you are not performing or if you are getting this right, then we do need to talk about what the consequences are as far as um, a process to improve and what we need to do to improve as far as consequences go. And so that is the ESRC model. So rather than jumping straight to consequences, it gives us a chance to, again, set the expectations, make sure that our team members have the right skill set to perform their role, give them the proper resources, and then if they're still not performing over time, then we can discuss the consequences. So now I hope you're better equipped with this tool in your toolkit to go out there and coach your team members. Thank you for all you do.